After fertilization, the zygote undergoes rapid mitotic division, known as cleavage. The first cleavage, completed about 30 hours after fertilization, produces two identical cells called blastomeres. This cell division continues, and by day three there is a cluster of 16 identical blastomeres. This is known as the morula. The morula enters the cavity of the uterus around day four. At this point, around the 32 cell stage, a fluid known as uterine milk starts to penetrate the zona pellucida to nourish the blastomeres. The blastomeres continue to divide, and as more uterine milk enters the morula, they develop a central fluid-filled cavity, known as the blastocyst cavity, or blastocele. Around day five, after the development of the blastocyst cavity, the developing embryo is known as a blastocyst. Around this time, the zona pellucida degenerates and the blastocyst hatches into the uterine cavity, ready to implant into the uterine wall. Implantation occurs approximately six to seven days after fertilization, but can only occur if the endometrial wall is sufficiently prepared by the correct levels of hormones. The blastocyst usually implants in the posterior portion of the fundus of the uterus. Initially, the blastocyst attaches loosely to the endometrial wall, but this attachment becomes stronger as the blastocyst burrows into the endometrium and the endometrium becomes increasingly vascularized. Eventually, the blastocyst is completely embedded within the endometrium, at which point the endometrium becomes known as the decidua. The regions of the decidua have specific names relative to the site of blastocyst implantation. The area between the embryo and the stratum basalis is known as the decidua basalis. The area between the embryo and the uterine cavity is the decidua capsularis. And the remaining area is known as the decidua parietalis. 